just found out from Carruthers he had seen the light as well and that he had gone and talked to some of these people who were super sus. Mm -hmm. uh, they said that they had friends who were lost. They had a big signal light that they were carrying. They had walkie talkies. They were in like hunting gear. And he told them that this was private property and that if he caught them again, he'd get the police involved. And he has been looking for more because both he and Jill have seen signs that there have been lots of people all over the mountain. And I think that's that might have been why Jill wanted to take him to the caves, because that's where they'd seen the most activity. I mean, uh, the caves and that site that you guys went to. that big to clearing first. site. All right, well, maybe we take him to the clearing site then. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he can do some tracking. It's only been a few weeks. Yeah. Um, I just feel like maybe we should wait to hear more about the rocks, I guess. Did we get all the information we're going to get? No, about we're, the waiting, we're waiting to hear from yeah. Lucy. Yeah. Maybe we Lucy should just a left bit. a message because that was yeah, that's the right. only way that she knew to get a hold of you. And Lucy's supposed to call or no, be back. Tomorrow, she's right? she's supposed to come tomorrow to yeah. meet you at the library. Yeah, she called stay away from the rocks, which is why yeah. that was the first place we were going. Yeah, because we're, we're trying to hog all the glory for herself. <laughs> because she doesn't want you to name it Jillium. Right, exactly. Jillium is pretty good though. Thank, really you. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's excellent. Yeah. Better than Lusonium or whatever she would have called it. <laughs> Luce, not Lusonium's not Luce. bad either, actually. Yeah. <laughs> like Lusonium. I mean, it's mm. very catchy. It sounds museum-ish already because right. it's Smithsonian. It's so. like you guys know the conventions of naming new minerals or something. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just take your name and add Eum to the end Eum. of it. Or <laughs> ite. Or, or, yeah, yeah. or ite, yeah. I just feel like we might want to know a little bit more about the stuff before we go showing it to people. I don't know. What if we get in trouble or something? I'm not supposed to be over there. What do you mean? I can go wherever I want on this mountain. Do you want? Oh, I thought we were in a huddle. I thought we were in a huddle. Oh, my bad. My bad too. You stay over there, man. You have a huddle. Sorry. Rude. You don't just wander into somebody's huddle and invite them. Sorry, children. I didn't realize that we had huddled. Maybe he should know about it in case bears are involved, because. That is probably part of his job description, wrestling bears. But you think so? Um, <laughs> possibly. But yeah, I don't know about the mineral thing, though. We could just did, point did, at various caves. <laughs> did, he, <laughs> there they are. did he ever tell us what he thought was getting the coyotes? He thinks it's a mountain lion, right? That's what he said he thought it was maybe a rabid animal. Okay. Oh, rabbit. Okay. Yeah. Do we just send off the weirdos that we found in the woods? No, no, we no. Didn't. That was the night of the the Carruthers light did. splashing. Okay, cool. Right. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> we're we're Celine Dioning this. Okay. We'll be fine. All right. <laughs> well, it's also, you know, this mystery, so no matter what we do, we're always gonna have the yeah, we, moment of like we are the, the Charlie Day and the Pepe Silva thing, you know, with the red string. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right it's just one string on my paper <laughs> and it's just dangling it's not tied yeah, in you can't, can't figure out what to tie it to we've got a bunch of targets and some strings <laughs> but you do have a we don't do know have, how they connect <laughs> you do have a melted VHS tape of mm -hmm. Ghostbusters in of your Ghostbusters backpack yes. So yes, yes I do Oh. That's gonna be clutch. That's really the only thing needed. I forgot oh. we had that, but you know, slammable, crucial, yep. no crucial. Don't forget, evidence. we might need to set that sucker on fire. I'm not saying we will, but we might. So that's only to, to scare off the coyote mutilating aliens who have been yeah. right. I think rabbit animal. Come on now. I think that we should go over to the clearing and see what Crother says about that. Okay. But we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep shh about the cave for now. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I guess Lucy did say not to go near it. I guess because the... yeah, but like mm -hmm. if the Wolfman dies, that's a win, right? Well, 
No, we like Crothers. He's nice. Do we? Guys, the point is to get you know cryptids to exist so we can have tourism. Although I guess with all of this new construction, they already plan to have tourism. Huh? What if the Wolfman's the only thing for keeping the aliens from taking over? I mean, I would be willing to see that fold. So, and, I'll raise <laughs> yeah. and I'll raise you chemtrails. Yeah. And I'll raise you chemtrails. Paris just got a thousand yard stare trying to process that. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> boxes would not be reached at this time. <laughs> right. Check this. The Wolfman always wears black suit. He's a wolf man in black. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Foxer says oh, a seizure. He's the wolf man in black. Fox, <laughs> <laughs> not a right off the <laughs> No, that movie's not out for another year and a half. It's okay. They had to come up with the idea somewhere. That's right. You stole it from us. <laughs> we thought of the men in black. I was going to say, yeah. it's actually Dan. Dan is actually the executive producer. <laughs> Or something. Oh my gosh. He's the screenwriter for Damn Men in Black. If the head of the Colorado housing whatever ends up being Will Smith, I'm going to be real upset with this. <laughs> it was me all along. It's Rock Prince? I, yeah. I would not be mad. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Didn't we say that was already out? It was coming out this summer. It's like the big movie. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that's like... the last episode. That's how we end. We've forgotten all about Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's old news. Because Jeff Goldblum's this one, too. Dated. Works for Jim Leader Way. Yep. I'm staying out of your huddle. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving you guys space. I'm, uh... Mr. Crullers, what do you think about chemtrails? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Off topic. I don't know what those words mean. Really? Nope. Oh. All right. Well, maybe some expert. <laughs> An expert on what? Why do you think the, the thing that was eating the coyotes was a rabbit animal? Was there like rabies oh, sauce yeah. all over them yeah <laughs> because they're not eaten and there haven't been that many of them there have been several but it's like i feel like it's within the possibility for one animal to have been but did it like all of it? look like an animal did it or could have been like a person who like has big teeth and claws <laughs> yeah, it's like bite marks and, and claw marks and stuff. Or... Yes, it looks okay. like bite marks and claw marks. I don't know anybody with teeth that do that look like animal teeth, just personally, but maybe well, you do. Well, not during the day Nobody. anyway, yeah. Okay, Jill. No, <laughs> Jill, we talked about this. Do you I'm think, I know that your friend here <laughs> I'm just asking questions. Thinks things, but there's no werewolves that's just not a thing so so how tall do you think that this rabid animal could possibly be like maybe five well, six I, feet tall it, enough. animals any i mean any mammal can carry the rabies virus and so except for possums except they can't for possums, it's very, very rare that's a lot there haven't been any deer that have been chewed up so it's so, smaller so hmm. I wouldn't say anything larger than the newspaper is called it a mountain lion. Couldn't be bigger than that. Could be like a dog or something. Could be. Hmm. Did we take Ooh. photographs of the scratches in the cave? Yes. That's we did take deal. photographs of the scratches in the cave. One photograph. Yeah. Oh, two, right? Well, yeah, we did one of the, the, the one of the scratches and one of the of the mineral. You think we should show that to the expert on animals. No, sure. we'll, just, we'll just, you know, um, show it in person. That's not a bad idea. Well, I thought we, we can't go near, I thought we were in the corner we of the can. cave, but, but we can, <laughs> because we can. of the radiation, yeah. we can point <laughs> and say, hey, go look in there. <clears throat> so you're trying to give heavy metal poisoning to <laughs> and brothers. Or that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> <New> metal, not <laughs> radiation. And move well, that giant rock. Um, the only thing you guys know at this point is that it this metal looks like beryllium, which could give heavy metal poisoning or toxicity, which is what the only thing that Lucy has said about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's I been mean, super helpful for the 20 bucks that we gave her. 
Spirit has never seen heavy metal, but he's seen the cover. <laughs> you spend the whole time waiting for boobs, but there's never actually any boobs. It's it's pretty disappointing <laughs> on all this whole false advertising. Really, really is. <laughs> it's an animated feature from the early eighties. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We could just stand outside and like point and say, "Hey, go look in there." <laughs> Don't lick any rocks. Um, we could. Um, we could. Or we could I show just... him this picture. And I mean, show him thinks. the picture and see if it yeah piques his interest. If he goes, oh, 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 oh maybe. Wow. Just, oh, 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 oh where'd you find tall this? animal right yeah. there? Yeah, hmm. making them marks. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys out of your huddle yet? Am I hearing any of this? We're still huddling. We're still huddling. It's an extended huddle. It's it's an irritatingly long huddle for the grown-ups. Okay. A solid Um, hour of huddle. Yeah. It's just like an hour and a half of huddle. Hey, guys, I'm going to just be honest. I'm going to, I got to go do some cleanup on this mountain. So I'm going to start walking. You catch up with me Um, when you're ready to be a part of the group or don't. I don't care. I got to do my work or else Jill's dad isn't going to pay me. Okay, well, show, show him the picture. Show him the picture. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Let's just do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're 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 ready. Um, hey, do you recognize these scratch marks? Asher, give me the picture. I'm giving her the picture. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and, and Jill shows. He looks at them and he's like, "Wow, this looks like a cave that somebody scratched at the walls." Right, right, right. The, 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 um, yeah. Rockhathers, your attitude is like pretty, like not. Well, I've been it. sitting here waiting for you kids <laughs> to get out of this huddle for about twenty minutes, so I think I'm allowed to be a little bit <laughs> put off. That's me personally. Like I was ready for my morning hike, but I'm a little tired of standing here. Honestly, I'd like to get going. Okay, um, well, can you look this... at it while we walk? Sure, and then this one looks like a yellow rock of some variety. I don't know much about rocks. Does it? Maybe it's like fool's gold. I don't know. So but, you don't you, you don't think those scratches look like an animal scratching or something like that? They they don't maybe no, look not, similar to the scratches that were on the coyotes. Uh, the way that flesh and rock are is. <laughs> kind of different not comparable (laughs) (laughs) the way the flesh and rock are it does not lend itself to a easy comparison i'm not sure that i see where you're going with this jill please tell me what you want to hear from me and i'll tell you whether or not i think that or not well not with that attitude do you think do you, you think these are going. <laughs> <laughs> keep up, little legs? Let's go. Maybe we should just follow him. Yeah. Can we at least take you to see the clearing where all those people were gathering? Maybe you'll see something. Maybe it'll you'll see like you saw the guys who were setting off the signal lights. Maybe it has something to do with them. I don't know. But can we at least show you that? Yeah. Okay. So you want to, and you kind of tell him where that's at. Mm-hmm. He's yep. like, I yep. mean, yeah, that'll take us most of the time I would be doing this to get all the way over there. Yeah, we can do that. I can, we'll search this area for signs of anything weird. I may have to take care of some, like if there's something fallen tree in a trail or something, I may have to push it out of the way, but you know, normal groundskeeping things. Sure. Let's walk. Let's go. Okay. And he takes off. And he's a lot faster than any of you guys because you all have short child legs. Jim's with us too, right? Yeah, Jim is also also struggling. (laughs) (laughs) He has a desk job where he sells insurance. He's struggling. Also, yeah, he's huffing and puffing and like (laughs) trying to catch up. And could we just take a break for one second? I wrote. I wrote cowboy energy next to Jim Keels. Um, yes. I'm going to cross that out now. He's yeah. failing me here. <laughs> it's, it's dude energy. Yeah. Yeah, he really wants cowboy energy. It's green and energy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like cowboy who lives in the city and has never right. been on a farm. Anymore. Urban He's cowboy. Asher He's just, just pulls out kind her of energy. <laughs> Scratches that off. <laughs> 
he really wants to be a survivalist, but yes, for all of his adult life, he and his pasty skin have sat inside an office building oh calling my. people up and asking if they'd like a new life insurance policy. Oof. So, See, I totally thought he was a traveling insurance salesman. He's not. He's not that mm. cool. Yeah, we just like, let's have a <laughs> loser. <laughs> <real loose thing. laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Keel, do you see any signs of werewolves or mothmen or Sasquatch or whatever you're looking for. And he he <sighs> kind of like oh, is, no. is all right, Mr. Keels. Are you okay? We're going uphill kind of fast to get to the spot you children want to go and you know it's just it's a little it's a little steep right here. It's all don't worry, I'm catching my breath. You need some juice or something? <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. Water break, and he gets out his water bottle and he drinks some water. <laughs> don't don't drink too much. You water log yourself. <laughs> is it actually a water bottle, or is he like this is a flask? <laughs> he has a Coleman clear camping water bottle that he definitely Ooh, state of it, the art bought Just in an REI it. for way mm. too much money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where? <laughs> State of um, the art. It's orange and it has a white screw on cap. Heck yeah. <laughs> wow. And he's put I only say that because of... my dad had the exact same one. <laughs> and he's put stickers of Bigfoot all over it. <laughs> anyway, so he takes a drink and he's like, well, this is really, I mean, I... To be honest, this is my first field experience searching for a cryptid while i have done a lot of research into other people's sightings and some interviews this is my first field exploration and oh so, so you've never found a cryptid cryptid well we're all pointedly looking at fox <laughs> really <laughs> also never been in a field <laughs> well no spirit that's um it means that he hasn't like actually gone out and done anything himself he's only although, read about it although spirit may be right too yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. only seen them from a distance <laughs> i've heard of these fields i've heard of these fields oh my gosh what is that flat expanse of land <laughs> fucking greenery so are they gonna put a parking lot there fields. yeah <laughs> So if you've never been on your own expedition, how do you know what to look for? Oh, well, you see, there are these message boards uh -uh. on the internet, and I have spoken to a lot of eyewitnesses all over the world. Okay. Eyewitnesses on message boards on the internet. No, they saw with their own eyes. But people on the internet, you like you use you, fake names, right? Like we yeah. all. Yeah. So well, how I, do you know handles? The... We call them handles. Handles. I mean, okay. Asher and I have definitely posted on some of those before, and we totally told the truth. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm wondering. How do you, you know these can people... lie on the internet? So. Yeah, it's probably illegal. What do you mean? No, anything that's on the computer is absolutely 100% correct. <laughs> I mean, that's true, right? That's the basis that's... I've been going off of. Yeah. So... You could not put something on the internet if it wasn't true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was the law when the internet right was off. created. That they... Yeah, when Everyone shook hands and, and agreed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll never do anything wrong with this. Promise. The wizards <laughs> of the internet made it so. <laughs> There's also nothing bad on there. No. No. Well, okay, uh, children. <laughs> by 1996, there was plenty bad on there. <laughs> I, I, yeah, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I found most of it. Even after it, it has probably seen more than he meant to. Yep. It, it took 45 minutes, but he saw it. <laughs> <laughs> That's only because it's that 1996 super slow internet. Yes, exactly. <laughs> In a few years. Yeah, one one image took 45 minutes to download. 
That's yeah, so I, I have spoken <laughs> on the phone and on the internet with real people who have seen real things. Interviewed mm. them for my zine. I've written articles that are followed by many people. I have a website. What's your on website? GeoCities. On GeoCities. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Nice. <laughs> Angel Fire, yes. Yeah. Where I blog... I know you children probably don't know about this, but I blog everything that I do. What does that word mean? <laughs> it's it's short for web log. So oh. should it be wog? Yeah, hey, where's the B log. from? Blah, blah, blah. From the B. In I get web. it's the end of web log, yeah, but yeah. Wow. Why, 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 why not wog? Who made this? Is this the same guy who made Jif? I no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Sure. Is that Asher actually, having a problem with this? Or yeah, no, 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 no. not knowing how blog came about. Oh, I'm sorry that I just learned the dumbest shit ever and had to react to it. <laughs> but you've never seen anything real yourself. Well, photos sent to me by my 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 contacts. Of... W- were these super grainy photos that they told you what I was mean, in them typically... before you looked at them? Typically, when you are you are not on a hunt for these things, they you stumble upon them, and if you can get a picture, it's not always the best quality. Right. Also, they you know, don't have like cool. telephoto lenses, and these are not professional photographers. These are just people with their and it's, disposable it's cameras out for a hike creatures. in the woods. Supernatural creatures. Who knows what they can do to disrupt the camera yeah. technology. Okay. You know, I heard that from a ghost hunter friend of mine Um, that they can, they definitely have an effect on technology. mm. I don't Mm. know about if I go in for that, but I definitely have some friends who do. Well, I heard from a a ghost hunter friend that if you fill the Statue of Liberty up with happy (laughs) foam and connect it to a Nintendo Super Controller, you can make her dance down Main Street. I, I saw that you. documentary. Yeah. <laughs> I just like that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this I'm might broken. be our best episode yet. <laughs> so like be okay, Way to call them. back. <laughs> so you've seen pictures, but you've never seen anything yourself. You've heard from people who have been in the woods but you've never been in the woods yourself well i have now i've been all over you know all over this mountain hiking with my friend bob he's been Ooh. showing me he showed me a couple corpses i mean oh, we, all over bob is, bob is 50 wow. yards ahead of us yeah, yeah. i know I'm really <laughs> that's, that's pretty generous <laughs> i'm i'm sorry that i'm not as fast or tall as as bob but you know i'm trying well, you don't have the preternatural strength of the wolf man either. So, I mean, that's probably. <laughs> My friend Bob is not a wolf man, but I appreciate your enthusiasm for finding the wolf man. I mean, you're right. He's not a wolf man. He's the, the, the wolf man. What do you mean, the? You think there's only one? Capital well, here. There can be but only one. How would they <laughs> continue that? Highlander. Wait a minute. <laughs> Everything relates to Highlander, actually. <laughs> Uh, wow. Jill doesn't get that reference. Highlander's a little, <laughs> Highlander's a little too niche, <laughs> a little too nerdy. Yeah, too, that, was, that was a line she wasn't ready to cross. He wasn't into the ponytail. No. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, it'll get real popular in like twenty something years. Right. Yeah. No. I. I. This is my first field experience with the cryptid hunting, and I'm gonna make a breakthrough. I'm ready for it. Are you ready for it? Uh, I mean, we've yes. been ready for it, but I'm I'm a little confused. I thought maybe you had uh, brought a little more experience to the table here, uh, Mr. Keels. How does anyone become an expert unless they start somewhere? Yeah, but you, but you wrote so a old. lot of magazine <laughs> articles about <laughs> things that you might not have ever seen or witnessed. I before. have been writing about this. For 15 years. I don't know how much more experience. So basically you write fan fiction is what I'm hearing. Are you saying that cryptids are not 
real? Because no, I thought I'm, you were a true believer. No, I, I am a true believer, but I really would like to see it. Also, I've never heard this term fan fiction. Yeah. Oh. I think <laughs> you just made that up. Yeah. <laughs> There's made no fan it. fiction since Star Trek. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they called it fan fiction. It's like, yeah. a little later. It's like when I started skiing, the first time I put skis on, I didn't call myself an expert. I, uh, when did I say I was an expert? I said that I was a seeker. I said that I had a zine, that I was searching. But also, I don't, I don't feel like you can ever be an expert at anything in this world. There's so much to learn. But who writes about skiing for 15 years before they go? Someone who's never been to a mountain before. Someone who's scared of mountains. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Why haven't you been? Children, out there? children. If you if you want to think I'm scared, I mean, honestly, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to get hurt by a wolf man, but I do believe that they're there. So. Well, it's a good thing you're friends with him. Okay. And, and so, what are we looking for? Right. <laughs> Okay, Jim, Mr. Keels, if you don't think he's a wolfman, what are you doing out here? Trying to find signs of a cryptid, of a wolfman. There are, okay. I'm looking for droppings. I'm looking okay. for... Okay. For What do wolfman turds look like? Maybe we can help you look. <laughs> yeah, I have... if, if he's not it, then we need to know what we're doing out here, right? I have a diagram that is done by my friend who definitely has seen some sort of cryptid at some point and he pulls out his notebook and he's like this is what a wolfman <laughs> cryptid <Ooh>. scat <laughs> is it just is it just people poop it's just people poop isn't it <laughs> honestly it probably looks more like mountain lion poop <laughs> <laughs> what that looks like it well, is always so concerning when you run into people poop in the real world. <laughs> well, You're not it is wrong. A, it is a shitty picture, Jim. We'll give you that one. I'm sorry. I meant it's a picture of shit. My, it's, my it's apologies. A good one. I apologize. It's a good one. Language. I don't feel like we need that kind of negativity here. Listen, we got to keep up. Bob's a long way ahead of us. and <laughs> he's, he's not even on the mountain and anymore. We're going to... <laughs> he left us. <laughs> As he should have. <laughs> I, I need to. I need my breath because we are continuing up this mountain. Yeah. You told him you wanted to go up to almost the top, and he yeah. couldn't even offer us a ride on a lift. Can I look Which at this journal? rude of of uh, Wolfman clues? Can I look at it? He will let you look at his notebook of Wolfman clues. I am going to research it. <laughs> I don't know how, but I'm going to start Give reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I tell find me. Here? Yeah, do, do a brains roll. Brains roll. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Give me a suspension of disbelief roll. <laughs> Crit fail. Ooh, well. Oh, I need to give you a difficulty. It's yeah, you do need to do that. First. <laughs> what are we doing? An eight. Okay, I. I, I do I have a plus one, Brainy? I can't remember. Let me look at my sheet. Pull up your character sheet. I remember what I have to roll. But... Listen, that just makes a lot of sense, Jason. Why yeah, would... I don't know like who'd... what you're talking about here. Who would have been playing for 45 I'm minutes just and hasn't pulled playing... up a character sheet yet? Who would have been on vibes that? here? 47 minutes. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, I did roll the cracked one. Okay, so I got a nine. Okay. Hold on, I, I heard there this... was an office moment. As you leap through this, you can see that there is absolutely no definitive proof of anything in this besides <laughs> like nature, like what? people making observations that could have absolutely been done by regular everyday non-cryptid animals. That's what you see from this notebook. What? I'm not getting a good feeling from this. He's drawn pictures and stuff, but this is really a lot of nonsense. Oh. Look. Jill. And she uses a lot of faux what? scientific language to make himself sound smarter than he is. Okay, but, oh, I hate that shit. But his, the Johnson brothers, that probably checks out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look at this one. Look at Jill's looking over Asher's shoulder. Look at this one. This 
that's just Michael J. Fox and Teen Wolf. He just, it's not even <laughs> like he drew the headband in the basketball uniform and everything. Yeah, I think that I, I don't think this guy is like I knew he wasn't, but I think he's even less than we thought he might have been. I think he believes it is the worst part. <sighs> He can't hear you over his huffing and puffing. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> his face Good. has gotten real red because you know it's you're oh, getting dude. higher in altitude. <laughs> it's hard to breathe oh, for man. him. Mr. He's not, Mr. He Jim? doesn't have those kid lungs that are so right. Yeah. And he doesn't live here, right? So he wouldn't be. Yeah. Used no, he lives down he's not Denver. used to the elevation. He's not used to the elevation. Yeah, right. you guys are definitely up higher than Denver, so. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jim, are you gonna have a heart attack? Because that's what oh, it looks like. Why did you no, say I'm, that? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm doing fine. Just, let's go, kids. That's what Gotta people go. say before they have a heart attack. No, I'm doing. <laughs> I can't carry you if you pass out. I'm only 48 years old. I'm fine. Oh my god, you're 48. <laughs> <laughs> that makes this so much creepier than it already was. <laughs> <laughs> How old did you think he was? Like 32 or something? Like, I don't know, like 26? Well, like, this, this is like, he, this is him. That's his young, midlife yeah. crisis is doing yeah. these. Yeah. Midlife, that's optimistic, Although I, but okay. I think it's 40. It he has been writing for 15 years. years. Listen, <laughs> I don't know that's how bad. Bad. Lives, so I'm just going to have an ongoing crisis. And he's probably doing the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, if, if, if he does drop dead we'll just roll him down the hill i guess god Jim. you know jim maybe you should just yeah. take a break stay down here you know we'll we'll scout ahead with mr crothers and we'll report yeah, back you, to you you anything. kids go up ahead i'm i'm yeah. just catching up yeah just take, yeah. take your time take, take your the, time definitely you all go, the time you go ahead. that you need take it i'm, please. I'm gonna <laughs> take please quick, don't follow us i'm gonna take a quick sit on this rock here uh-huh just gonna Take yeah, a few, squad. Few, few <laughs> moments to breathe. Oh my god, he's <laughs> only 48. <laughs> if you do have a heart attack, just just roll. <laughs> just roll. Just roll. I think the hospital is on the east side of the road. No. Well then you better roll at an angle uh, then. Yeah. It, it is an east ball, isn't it? It's a long roll. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm going to try and look for anything that's in this book and look at those trees around us when we get to the clearing and okay. see if I can find anything. Yeah, we'll so you guys quickly up. outstrip. Catch up with uh, Carruthers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. guys quickly are caught up with Carruthers and, like, Jim is in the... It's behind you. We just and, like, yeah, you can barely... Like, he's sitting down for a while. So, uh, that guy was a freaking dweeb. Thanks a lot, Fox. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what happened there. It's pretty embarrassing. God, I almost wish he was some sort of child killer. At least he would have been interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree at this point. That would be closer to a cryptid than whatever <laughs> guys, we're experiencing right now. And And now you're close to Bob, and he's like, yeah, guys, the kid has been... He was reading The Hobbit and in high school and did not grow out of it is what I'm telling you. You've got to have a healthy joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's a children's book. So, so wait, you guys went to school together? Were you in the same grade? Yes, we were in the same grade. So you're 48 too? Oh. Yes, Jill. I thought the other guy looked bad at 48. Holy cow. <laughs> How, wait, so like, were you guys friends? I think friends, friendly acquaintances is better. Um, yeah. And yes, I don't think his reading level was up to anything above The Hobbit, is what I'm saying. That's a hard book to read. The uh Hobbit? -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh, Fox. Oh, Fox. Well, anyway, looking at this notebook he's been working on for 15 years, I don't think he's gotten much past The Hobbit either. So even Jill has read The Hobbit. <laughs> really? Kind of dorky. Summer reading program, yeah. yeah. Jill looks to pretend that he she didn't used to be in either her, that but... or Bob does not Shut know up, the books past The Hobbit. Like <laughs> that's also a possibility. Carruthers like, hasn't read know, the Silmarillion. Yeah, yeah, all those those Hobbit books. Like they all right. have Hobbits in them, right? Right. 
Dragons and Hobbit. There's I know more that. Hobbit I mean, I books? <laughs> mostly true. <laughs> I mean, that's like how all video games are Nintendos. Yes. According to Grandma, at least. So, uh, Mr. Carruthers, she cringes at having to call him Mr. Have you seen any signs of people coming through the area? Like, more than, than we should have? Yes. All over this mountain, there, there are signs that people have been here, which is really bothersome to me because that's kind of my job and I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell your dad that I haven't been able to find anybody but I'm looking my ass off for anybody who is trying to do this but I have not found a one except for the one I know day of the lights. you do you one well, you mostly do your, your tours during the day right so yes. if they're all coming at night then why would you go walking in the dark on a mountain like well, that's that? That's where you found them last time. Because right? you don't want a groundskeeper to find you and kick you off the mountain? I mean, that is a good point. The reason I went out there last time is because I saw the light. But, yeah. you know, you take a st- wrong step on a rock, you break your ankle, and nobody would find you. Why w- You don't just go out oh. in the middle of the dark. If you're that's doing you bad stuff, alone. it might be worth the risk, though, right? Well, I don't... You know, that's part of my job is to go alone unless they were going to hire another groundskeeper. Do you not have friends? We can go with you. Friendly acquaintances is what I have. (laughs) (laughs) I don't need friends. (laughs) Okay, brother. Uh, He suddenly got so much more broody and edgy. (laughs) You know what government guys have? It's me and the wolf man up here. We're we're all the (laughs) friends we need. I'm kidding. Uh, Children, that was a joke. (laughs) Oh, we don't understand sarcasm yet, Carruthers. Well, Jill, I'm not talking about you here. That's a lot of syllables. You know, almost as many as in the Silmarillion. (laughs) The Humawadian? I I don't don't get that one either. Yeah, the 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 Hobbit book. book. Yeah, sorry, the Hobbit book. Oh, okay, sure. Doesn't, wouldn't like... The government or the military have like night vision goggles that they could see in the dark with. If it uh, was, I mean, uh, like soldiers, sure. Yeah, I I think you could also get those at Cabela's. Sure, <laughs> so like, not really? in my salary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jill could get them at Cabela's. Oh, okay. really? Because I've been saving up my allowance. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no, yeah. Maybe you could use extra eyes and we could come out and help you look for things at night. Jill's I... dad's really worried. And he might, you know, there's all sorts of weird stuff going on with like the people moving in and stuff. And I just think that maybe a little extra patrols could look pretty good to your boss. Sure, that's great, except that you guys are children and that there probably is a rabid animal. And I don't know if you, I don't think any of you are equipped to deal with a rabid animal. We just won't get caught, obviously. (laughs) And Spirit, do you, you know much about running away from animals that can run faster than you over mountainous terrain? Yeah, it's called Fox. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty quick, actually. <laughs> Wait, what is called Fox? And he just, like, looks at his brother doesn't say anything. <laughs> the monster that can go faster. <laughs> <laughs> Not a monster, but an a animal. A creature? Sorry, creature. Animal. <laughs> So, I don't think that that's a great idea for you to come up by yourselves. Unless you were setting up times... Well, if you were setting up times where, you know, we had check-ins, sure, if you want to hike all over this mountain, it's, you know, it's Jill's mountain. She can do whatever she wants. And if she wants to have friends here... What if, you know, we all got, like... What if we went down to the radio shack and got some really nice walkie-talkies? You're going to go all the way to the Radio Shack in East Falls? Well, I'm not going to go, but you could go. You think I can afford really nice walkie-talkies? You could take Jill. 
<laughs> just use and just have Jill card. buy me some really nice walkie talkies. Uh, sure, her dad us, would love that. Buy us some really nice walkie talkies to help you. And we won't tell anyone that you didn't pay us. Yeah, this, kids, this is not sounding great. We're not keeping <laughs> secrets from parents. This I've never done real that. Real creepy. Yeah. I've never, I've never <laughs> kept secrets. Absolutely never. From my I'm not going to keep secrets from your parents. This is not. There's nothing supernatural. If you guys want to hike, I'm not going to stop you from hiking. At night. <sighs> Oh, we we don't do that. Yeah. Kids don't hike at night. Did I not mention about the breaking your ankles and the people not finding you because it's dark and that there's a rabid animal probably We're in this not going to go hiking that night. So about those caves. <laughs> I thought we were headed to a clearing. Yes. Uh, the clearing, yes. You're right. How f- we should get to that clearing and maybe stop Telling brothers all of our ideas. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, out of character, he is probably the wolf man, and we're just gonna let yeah, him get, no. get metal poisoning. So, <laughs> so you guys continue your walk, and it is a long way to where you guys were at the basically the cat like diagonal across the mountain from where you were wanting to go. So it is a lot of hiking, and you're covering a lot of ground. And occasionally, like, you all stop and, you know, drink and Crothers gives you, like, he's got granola bars in his pack. And he's like, hey, Ooh. did you guys, like, pack something to eat? And Spirit's just, like, eating an entire one of those little boxes of cereal. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah uh, we, <laughs> we did have pack have rations. A lot, a lot of <laughs> we have Fruit Loops and Frosted Flakes. But at some point, you guys kind of stop, and it's, like, not lunchtime, it's earlier than that, but it is, like, you guys have been hiking for a couple hours, and you guys needed, like, a reasonable break. And at that point, like, while you're stopped for a good long amount of time, Jim comes stumbling (laughs) behind, and, and he's trying to, he's caught up, and he's like, oh, good, thought I'd lost you guys. And as he comes, he's really kind of like his feet are kind of wobbly and like he's really been really trying to truck it and he loses his footing and he trips. And uh, while he's while he's laying on the ground, Spirit's just gonna walk over and be like I was gonna try and catch him first. No, no, he's just gonna walk over and be like, Hey, do you do you want these honey smacks? Just like hand him a little box of cereal while he's uh-huh. on the ground. Yeah, so he's like, uh, yeah, give me a second. And as he's getting up, he realizes that what he tripped on was some sort of mangled, rabbity, corpsey sort of thing. A rabbit? Yeah. Mm. Well, how did we miss that? Because you weren't like dragging and like kind of digging in with your feet. Does it does it not stink or anything? No, it does now, but it was kind of covered by leaves and stuff, so you guys didn't maybe notice it. Yeah. So, because he was clomping, right? And it's not so fresh, but at least a day old. Oh, okay. So, it's not great, but it's also not, like, been super hot for super long or anything like that. And he's like, oh, oh, Bob, I think I found something. And, you know, Bob comes over and he's like... Oh yeah, that's a rabbit. And he gets out his gloves and he's got trash bags and stuff on his pack that he's kind of getting ready to clean this up. And he's looking around the area and he says, this is really close to where I found the last carcass that I found. Well, that's convenient. I mean, it was just Mm. over about... 20 feet that way. And he's looking around to make sure it is the same place. And he's not entirely sure, but he's... After he cleans up the carcass and he's got it in his trash bag, he's like, I'm pretty sure. And he keeps walking back and forth between this area. He's like, 
This is the first time that I've seen any really close to each other. Can I look around and see if I can find... Like, look at the spot that he pointed at. He said it was, like, only 20 feet away, right? Yeah. Tell me how you, like, how you're investigating. Are you doing it with brains? What are what are you doing? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is just brains here because she doesn't really know what she's doing. So she's just kind of walking around and, like, kicking at stuff and looking for more scratches. So, yeah, it's just going to be a straight brains roll. Okay. Difficulty is a six. Six. Ooh, I got a seven. Okay. So you actually find, and this is not the same place that you guys were, but in the vicinity, as you kind of go in a straight line from where the carcass you guys found and the one that, that Bob pointed out, is if you continue on about 50 more feet... There is another, like, little cave sort of area, like you had found before. Mm. It is not as big, like, at all. Like, it is a, like, small animal burrow size. Like a, like a werewolf size? Like, a kid could definitely, like, any of you could crawl into it, but it would not be anything but, like, hands and knees. Mm. Spirits just like whispering to the others. It's like, okay, but but what if what if the werewolf's a kid? A baby werewolf? Uh I I mean we're not babies, so well, I guess so. An adolescent. Can I take like a peek inside the cave and see if I can see any of that mineral like we saw before? Yeah. Are you using a flashlight or anything? I don't think I have one. Good thing I have I a have lighter. Two. I have a lighter. I could take a I little mean, peek, but I kind of wanted to. It would give you a flashlight. Okay, cool. Then yeah, I'll just take a peek. And are you alerting anyone that you're because you went kind of away from everybody else? Are you alerting everyone that you're going in? No, I just want to look inside. I don't want to actually go into the cave. I just want to look and see if I could see any of that mineral like we saw before. Especially if I have a flashlight, then, yeah, I think a spirit probably is walking around with me. And then, yeah, I can just kind of see if it reflects off any of the metal like it would. Yeah, we we use the buddy system. Okay, so as you get closer, though, and you start disturbing stuff, you hear something. What do I hear? Which is which is weird because it has been very quiet in throughout all of your explorations on the mountain. Okay. But you start to hear like an animal sound. Like a roaring or grunting? What's it sound like? Kind of like a cat that is growling. Mr. Bob, Mr. Jim, there's something over here. And Jim is still trying to wipe off rabbit guts off of his shoes and catching his breath and Bob like comes over kind of sprinting and he says what what did you guys find do you not hear it and he comes closer he's like oh yeah that kind of and he he gets down and he's like careful he's getting in his his little pack And he's trying to find his flashlight. And as he kind of bends down to look inside, something makes a swipe at him. Whoa. And is growling. Get away. Back up. (laughs) And he does. He backs up. And what you see is a tiny little paw. (sighs) That oh. is a raccoon paw. Oh. oh. <laughs> and. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's a oh. raccoon. Oh, who is this reacting? <laughs> but it is it's growling. So and it's, it's growling. trying to scratch at him. Oh, well. And it continues to come at Bob. 
And so I, he is actually going to try and get to his gun that he has on him. What are you guys doing? Because he has a little raccoon that is aggressive and coming at him. And you guys are right there. Is there anything you're doing? I'm a child. I back away. Like, yeah. I, I, let the adult handle the situation. Yeah, okay, I don't so know what's happening. So. I would like, if you guys yeah. are backing your way, I need you also to make flight rolls to, like, make it so that you are not drawing extra attention to yourself. Well, let me tell you, I'm really good at flight. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I'm not. Because he's right in front of it. It's also only going to be about a six to do this. Okay, well, I'm going to spend two of my tokens to make it a six. Okay. (laughs) Can I whip out my super soaker for the first time and just let this (laughs) raccoon have it? Absolutely. Yes. Fight, Um, fight, no flight. (laughs) Uh, So for aiming, Fox, we're Mm going to call that a fight roll. Fight that raccoon. Um, and and yeah, so you whip out your super soaker and for that, because you're a little further back, we're gonna say that's a nine. Okay. Oh wow, that's not good at all. I got a three. Okay, you definitely just soak the back of Bob. Sorry, <laughs> it's dark, you can't see. And he's he's like distracted, honestly, by this. And oh, he was no. trying to get his gun. Like, <laughs> this is not good. So he kind of is freaking out because there's wetness. He does not know what's going on. In fact, in all of this chaos, Asher, what did Asher roll? I rolled a four. And the difficulty was six? Mm-hmm. You know, six. Okay. So mm. Asher falls. <laughs> Makes like trips on backing away, trips I feel over. Like, yeah, she just falls back. <laughs> yeah, falls over. And let's say because for you, yeah, you fall on your butt because you were backing away. And then Carruthers is now soaked and distracted. And the raccoon is going to come out, make his attack, and it's going to bite him. Because of the, the jugular. Well, <laughs> yeah, actually, it kills so, old man brothers. All of us are very sure. small. It's still <laughs> very small. He is going to bite Carruthers on the leg because he's still a small raccoon. Carruthers, though, during this time is going to be able to shoot it because it is by his foot, basically. <laughs> does he shoot his own foot? No, he does not. <laughs> Oh my god. Disappointing. <laughs> so what you have is a mess. <laughs> a mess. And no one knows what's going on. But there is a dead animal. There is a soaked Carruthers. <laughs> there is a Asher on the ground. <laughs> Ouch. Fox is holding the super soaker. <laughs> Jill's just wandered off. <laughs> Jill has found. left the building. <laughs> Jill, yeah, Jill. Uh, Jill didn't want to go in the cave. Yeah, Jill was def- was not going anywhere near that cave, but is maybe over making fun of the guy who's got rabbit on his shoe. So, I think in that chaos, that is where we're gonna stop. <laughs> thank you so much for listening and we will be back with you for i don't know we're getting close to the end who knows how many more episodes but we'll be back next week Mystery. bye-bye bye-bye thank you for listening you can find us at evenfootinggames.com or on the socials at evenfootinggames kids on bikes rpg is by renegade game studios our cast is lee baldwin Bill Brabson, Jason Cassidy, Aaron Easton, and Rick Taylor. Our theme music is written and performed by Jimmy St. James. Our podcast would not be possible without the help of our patrons, Debbie, Kristen, Robin, Alex, Gina, Ralphie, Merrills, and Cassie. If you would like digital downloads of our books and other exclusive content, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash evenfootinggames.